Oregon's newest system of mountain bike trails is set to open this coming Sunday, June 22nd, at the Alsea Falls Recreation Site southwest of Corvallis. The new system features six miles of single track, including long stretches of what's known as Flow Trail, a specially engineered pathway that allows riders to weave, drop, and jump down the mountain without losing much speed. Created through a partnership between the Bureau of Land Management and a Corvallis-based group called Team Dirt, the trail system features both beginner and intermediate level trails. We envision people riding up the paved road and then hopping on Highballer, one of the trails, and then working their way back down to here. So that's, that's the, the trail system we have in place right now. It's about six miles. And my um, vision is to bring trails to somebody who just buys a mountain bike. And we're sorely lacking in the area for people to have trails if somebody buys a 600 hour mountain bike, where are they going to ride it? So the trails you guys are going to go see today have kind of something for everyone. Eric Emerson, the trail coordinator and builder for Team Dirt, explained the difference between a normal single track trail and the flow trails that you'll find at Elsie Falls. Here, I mean, you can see that the tread width is a little bit wider than your typical uh, single track trail. Mm -hmm. um, with a single track trail, you typically design at about an 18 inch um, trail width. On this one, it's going to be anywhere from 18 to about 44 inches or so. Mm -hmm. um, and so with that, you have a little bit higher trail speed. And so um, the definition of flow is a little bit hard to define. Um, but for me, what it is, is you, you find a trail that kind of has a sinuosity to it. So an ebb and flow that kind of keeps you in uh, trail speed. The, the conversation we've had with the BLM is to the higher that you go up on the trail system, the harder it's going to be because we expect riders who are kind of newer um, to mountain biking to not have that stamina to be able to pedal all the way to the top and to do multiple laps. Your seasoned rider we're expecting is going to take, you know, maybe two to three runs or session experience. So as we go up the, the, the trail system, it's just going to be a little bit more difficult mm -hmm. um, just because those riders are more seasoned and it kind of fills Filters and keeps the people who are just trying to get a little bit more, you know, beginning type of experience down at the bottom. Think about it. <laughs>